Hi, this is Eric with Stormtrooper Ranch. <clears throat> Wanted to show you a helmet I got yesterday from DA Props from the UK. It's his HDPE green Stormtrooper helmet. Of course, it's all in trim. Um, this is the cap back. It's really nice. It's got all the lumps and bumps that you want to see in a in a uh, Stormtrooper helmet. Comes with the face piece, really nice pull, the uh, um, teeth are really well indented which will make it easy to trim out. The eyes have a nice trim line on them, so those will be easy to trim out. Comes with his ears, and the ears are white, but um, they're not the green HTPE. It comes with both trims. It comes with the V trim for the brow and the S trim for the underside of the helmet. It comes with a set of tube stripes, the Hobie mic tips, all the bolts and nuts and rivets you need, and also comes with the clear green acetate film for the lens, uh, like the originals had. Uh, one nice thing about this green HDPE is it's super, super thick. It's, I'd say it's probably as thick as the AM helmet. I've got one here. Here's the AM. Here's the DA's um, thing. So they're, oops, sorry. They're just about the same thickness with the AM. It's not as, as uh, flexible for this one. I mean, it's super flexible. It's really nice. Helmet's super flexible. Don't have to worry about breaking it. It's going to be fun to build. I'm going to build this. And I'm not going to paint it. It's going to be. It's going to stay the original green color, <clears throat> so I can show um, what the helmets look like prior to being painted on the movie. So I want to thank Andy from DA Props for sending that to me, uh, and the T-shirt, not this one, um, but it's going to be added to the collection. That's going to be in a hopefully traveling display before mm -hmm. long. Up here is one of Dandy's other helmets, which is um, from a different mold. This this HDP one, he said, is from uh, a Caps mold. But let's see if we can see it. This one here is DA's um, ABS helmet. Very nice helmet. I did that as Mr. No Stripes. So anyway. Again, thanks Andy for the helmet. I'll get it built. I'll make a video of it being built so your um, friends could use it instead of bugging you on how to build your helmet. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.